What's up, y'all? Look here, it's another day out here. Hope all y'all in good spirits. Hope all y'all having a good day. Anyway, uh, I, I wanna I, I wanna say this right quick. Um, a lot a lot of you all probably thinking, um, you know, this whole April the eighth thing is uh, you know, the total solar eclipse is uh is the it right there's a lot of attention on it right now there's a lot of people you know talking about uh there's going to be pandemonium there's going to be the military deploy here and there there's going to be uh this happening and that happening so you, you're hearing about all kinds of news related to the, the april 8th uh total eclipse right and I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't really know much about the the April the, 8th, the, the the total eclipse is gonna happen on April the 8th. I really don't know, um, and I purposely tuned myself out of that because there's a channel I watch, and this this guy he talks about it. Um, he goes in great detail about you know the total uh, eclipse that day. Actually, he's been talking about it since last year, and so. I've been hearing about this for a while now, right? I've, I've already known everything, you know, a lot about, well, I've been hearing a lot about it already. The thing is, um, I got away from, like, trying to, you know, digest, you know, so much information about it, you know, so much of the, you, you hear so much about it because I, I just get sick and tired of people plastering, you know, all this stuff you know, they're sharing, oh, did you hear about the, 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 the total eclipse? Oh, this is supposed to happen. That's supposed to happen, right? I get so tired of hearing people come off like that because people don't take stuff serious, y'all. They talk about it. They don't plan. They don't prep. They don't do anything about it, but just talk about it. And then when it blow over and when nothing happens, then they, then, then they move on to the next subject. They want to talk about it. They want to blow up. And I just get tired of hearing about that, y'all. Because all people really want to do to me, excuse me, to me, all people really want to do is just party, 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 party. When it should be a time to plan and prep, right? But then people, all they're going to do when something do happen is panic, 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 panic. Because people don't really... People don't live what they talk about, y'all. I'm telling you. I know people right now that all they want to do is, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm taught business and I'm, and I'm no exception to that, really. But lately I've been finding myself getting off of that, like talking business all the time. Because I feel like, especially if you're not walking it or living it, why talk about it all the time, right? There's only so much conversation can, that can be had about something until it's like, okay, that now it's time for some action. Now it's time for, you know, let's see some manifestation of what you talk about all the time, right? So that's what I be on a lot of times. And that's another reason why I've been off for this channel because I've been busy doing other stuff, y'all. I've been busy focusing on other things and trying to get myself together, for real. Uh, I've been working on my mental, I've been working on my spiritual, I've been working on my physical, everything else aside from just me you know talking on this channel just talking but anyway back to this eclipse so yeah um what a lot of people probably don't know is that there's uh this eclipse thing right i, I heard a little bit about it like i said the channel i watch there's actually two channels i watch and it talks about you know this this whole eclipse thing with the red heifers and this jewish uh prophecy and all this other stuff surrounding it like i say i don't really know much about it i purposely you know got away from trying to hear so much about it because there's so many different things going on in the world world right now and i can't have my attention everywhere right also i feel like this uh eclipse is just another um and it might be a, a real prophecy right but i feel like there's other things that are also at play this year this is a wild year. Um, we got it's a leap year. We got election year, right? Um, so it's, it's crazy we got a total solar eclipse this year, right? 
not only we had this total solar eclipse this year, but this year, uh, but this eclipse this year is supposed to pass over, I think it's seven or either nine different cities named Nineveh, right? The reason why that's significant is because when Jonah was spat out of the whale, you know, Jonah was in um, total darkness, right? When he was spat out of the whale, it's a, the first town he went to was Nineveh when he got out of the whale, right? And it's just so funny that, you know, this eclipse is gonna pass over, I think it's seven or even nine different town cities in the United States. They're gonna experience a total darkness as well for a few minutes. So it's just a lot of conspiracy theories surrounding it. Some may be significant or some, may, some might be interested. Others might just be, you know, whatever, right? The thing is this, y'all. We're gonna have that eclipse on the 8th. Um, I don't know what to expect, but I'm gonna just tell you this. If you are fear monger or if you are one of those ones who are just talking about it or always engulfed about it, then you need to plan. It doesn't make any sense to talk about something you don't make any preparations for, it, right? So, I mean, you know, stock up with some canned goods, get you some ammunition, you know, practice target shooting, you know, get you some water supplies, some batteries, some flashlights, candles, whatever, all that stuff you want to get. Get that stuff. Be financially responsible, y'all. Don't go crazy. You know, don't drain your savings accounts thinking this might be a day of, of, of pandemonium and this this is the this is the it day this is the shtf they we're talking about i don't do that y'all i'm gonna always push invest responsibly uh and um handle your finances responsibly don't go grudge spending the postal spending and or whatever the case is don't do all that right because to be honest we've had total solar eclipse all the time we had it in 2017 headed in 2010 we had we have eclipses all the time Lunar eclipses, half eclipses. We have these things all the time, y'all. It's just significant this year, I feel, because it's a leap year, it's election year, and there's so much surrounding uh, Israel, so much surrounding the wars that play, you know, America versus Russia, Russia versus America, China versus, you know, Russia, uh, excuse me, America. It's just so much at play. That's why I feel that's why this total solar eclipse is just so hyped up. And then we got this immigration thing, right? With this uh, open border thing, right? When we got, you know, uh, saboteurs supposedly uh, in the country, and they're supposed to be uh, armed, and, and, and uh, it's supposed to be, I mean, there's so much stuff going on, so much hearsay. That's why you just, that's why you, instead of, you know, playing around all the time, you should get ready. So after you get yourself ready, you can you can fall back, you can play a little bit, right? That's what I believe anyway. But anyway, y'all, that's it for the total solar eclipse. You know, on the eighth. You know, um, if you don't, if you want to look a little bit more into it, I, I advise you to look into it. But I'm the type of person that if I look into something, I'm gonna really look into it, and I'm, it's gonna help me learn uh, to move and not. I don't care about uh like if it's something bad, if it's bad news or if it's something scary. To me, it's stuff to keep me on my toes. And so I come up with plans and move forward because this life is about survival and facing reality head up. So if you're not ready to, ready to face life head up, well, don't start consuming so much stuff you can't deal with. It's just simple as that. So I just can't, I, I, just, I just get tired of people talking about stuff they can't deal with, they don't want to deal with, they're not even trying to deal with. Right, so that's one thing, right? Then we got this P. Diddy situation, y'all. We got this whole P. Diddy situation going on. And I think it's crazy that, you know, we got so, especially black people, y'all, we, we so engulfed in this P. Diddy news, like we didn't know that P. Diddy was already engulfed in this business, y'all. We already knew that. I knew it without even having proof that he was all into that, y'all. I mean, it's crazy how black people, we ride people's curtails. We ride their coattails, right? And, and are in disbelief and, and denial about news we hear until the fans come and get them. And then when the fans come and get them, that's when we believe it. It takes the fans to come 
do something for us to believe it. We had all the same, the same uh, things that we could see as evidence in place already for us to believe that he was already involved in these things that he's alleged to be a part of, right? But it takes the fans to come. That's not even a trial yet, y'all. This is just a federal investigation that we already believe in that he's involved with all of this stuff when we already have every we already knew everything the fans knew but we wouldn't believe it it took the fans to step in for us oh it's real we, i believe it now because yeah we believe that the fans when they come they had the ducks to, they have the t's crossed their eyes dotted look man if it if, if it cracked like a duck if it walked like a duck if it act like one then it must be y'all and i already knew based off of all those actions, what was going on. Yeah, he got this other uh, thing going on with this million dollar bounty that he had on Pop. Now, I don't know nothing about that. I don't know if that's true or anything like that. Um, but a lot of that stuff is interesting to dig into. So that's why the fans digging into it because it's interesting enough to them to dig into it for an investigation, right? It's sad that, you know, a lot of these things transpire um, with our celebrities the people that we look up to because it influences us. Sadly, it influences us. And I, I, I can't stand that we give so much uh, praise and worship and power and, 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 you know, respect to these celebrities who don't do nothing for us. They don't do nothing for our communities or anything, you know. So if those allegations are true, he's going to go to jail just like uh, R. Kelly is in jail. And we're gonna be on to the next celebrity. You know, I heard somebody saying Jay Z next. Then I heard somebody else saying all they're doing is just, um, you know, tearing all our black men down one by one. It did Bill Cosby like that. It did Michael Jackson like that. You know, and it's like that could be true. I'm not gonna refute that. But you know, it's the world we live in, y'all. Uh, anyway, uh moving off of those kind of topics. I'm not really going to dig on none of those. Uh, we got Tiffany Hinger, uh, a mayor out of Chicago, uh, a suburb out of Chicago that I don't know if y'all been hearing about. She has a probe on her also. Uh, just sickens me to see how we can say we pro-black and we for the people, but then when we get positions, certain positions, we go against the grain. And if you look at her situation, if you pull up Tiffany Hinger, on your search engines, you'll find so much content on her. Very big social media, uh, uh, um, a social media person. Uh, you know, she's very big on, I mean, so you can find her everywhere, you know. But anyway, she's a mayor of Dothan, uh, of Dothan, um, Illinois, and uh, it's a, which, is, which is a black town uh, suburb, right? And it just sickens me to see how she's carrying on there how she's just uh, uh, victimizing her own black people, right? And she's doing it at the same time saying she's helping black people. We just live in a time where black people just don't care about black people, y'all. And we gotta stop faking the fault like black people care about black people. These celebrities don't, our politicians don't, none of these people don't, right? We vote them in, because they promise us things. They don't fulfill their promises. Now we're mad, we want them out of office, or we go, we don't, we don't, we, you know, we lose respect for them, and then we own them to the next person. Next person tells the same lie, and this is just a recycled nonsense that, that happens with us. Just like with this Biden Trump situation, y'all. Every four years we get lied to, and with black people, like, we just easy, we so easy to get lied to. I remember before uh, Biden got put in office, one of my um, family members got to argue with me, an argument with me about voting for Biden because their ideology was that Biden was going to take care of the black community and we need to give Biden a shot, right? We need to give, we need to try Biden. They were anti-Trump, right? And my th so I, I was trying to tell them, you know, wake them up to the light. And I was just saying, you know, we need to stop putting so much confidence and so much uh expectation with these presidents because they're only spokesmen after all and then the other thing with that is they sell us these lies every four years if you 
people cannot see history, something wrong with you mentally. Because throughout history, we've been lied to every four years. And it's like, when are we gonna wake up, y'all? into reality and see that these people lie to us every four years. They act like they're so pro-black every four years. Every four years, they don't do nothing for us. Buy it just for gays to the lows because this is the second quarter of the last year that he might have in office. This is election year. And so you got people saying, oh, look what he's doing. He forgot, he, he, found, he, he kept his word. But he only did this because he wants another term. The man wanted to turn office, y'all. These people will lie to you and only because it suits them. Yeah, they'll give you little trinkets, a little, uh, do little things for you on the side that really don't count. Just so, just so enough so they can say, they can get you to say, okay, they did something for us. Because they play on our psyche, y'all. This man hadn't done nothing for us. Look at these borders, look at the country, y'all. This country is headed down. It's piling down economically, socially, politically, every in every shape, form, or fashion. This country is going down, and it's been more so prevalent during the Biden administration. So yeah, it's good to give you forgive some student loans. What else are you gonna do? Don't say reparations because we're not getting no reparations, right? Black people not getting no reparations, and black people do not deserve reparations. First of all. Reparations are going to be too hard to get anyway because it is not um, real. It, it's, it's, it's not logistically possible to do that for one on the grounds that for one with these reparations, you have to determine who gets it. Okay, if you say African Americans, are you talking about African Americans who had roots to slavery? Or are you talking about African Americans who are currently African American? Because you had African Americans who who are in America now who were not slaves, right? Never been slaves, don't have any family members that are slaves, right? You had Af you have Af African Americans now that are only African Americans now because somewhere after slavery, the white folks that were all white, their lineage that was white, married some black people had intercourse with them, made some mixed kids, those mixed babies, got with some more black people, and they had some offspring that were black, and then they just kept it black. They never had anything to do with slavery either. So how is it possible for us to determine who gets what? Just because you're black does not equate to reparations, y'all. So it's logistically impossible, that's why this has never happened. Another thing is, the United States don't have money. And I know y'all gonna say, well, they cut checks for war, they can cut checks for reparations, right? And the thing about that is, on its face it sounds, I can give you, that's a good argument. But looking at the way the United States spends money and the way we always, you know, having you know, government shutdowns, that's not possible, y'all. If reparations were to be given, and I think the state of California was saying something about $2 billion, you know, um, that's just the state of California. And, and, I mean, there's like 40 million, uh, 45 million black people in the country. Just say everybody got a million dollars a piece, right? 45 times, 45 million times a million is a number. I, I, I think it's like four trillion, uh, four, uh, I wanna say it's, uh, I don't know, I can't do my math right now. 400 billion or is it four, four trillion? Whichever, whichever number it is, it's a very big number and it's too much to, 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 to just pan out for one, right? Right? We can't even take care of our roadways, y'all. I'm on a road right now and uh, going through the country right now and I'm on this infrastructure that's so ragged, you almost have an accident crossing it, right? Now, these reparations, if black people were to get these reparations, y'all, what do you realistically think people are gonna do with these reparations? If you look at the stimulus checks and these PPP loans and SBA loans that they gave out, what did black people do with that money? They blew it, right? They went crazy with the money, right? Designer, luxury, trips, accessories, things they didn't need is what they did with the money, right? I heard somebody saying, uh, we should get 40 acres of mule, they never gave us that. What do y'all think black people would do 
if the government gave every black person 40 acres and a mule right now. I guarantee you people will sell that land for cash because they want to go shopping because people don't want land. They don't want to farm. They don't want land. They want money to shop with, spend with. So they're going to sell the land. They're not going to use that mule either because they don't want no animal to milk. They're not going to use that mule for nothing. They don't want no mule. They want the money. So they can spin, 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 and live like the Kardashians, and keep up with the uh, live like the Joneses, and the Johnsons, and the Williams, and the Wilsons, and the whoever else they want to live like and be like. That's all black people gonna do with the money, y'all. I'm telling you. If they, if it was ever to be given, yeah, you got the exception. You got people who gonna do right with it, right? But for the most part, it's gonna be flexing to the thousandth power out here, for real, for real. So if we look at our economy right now, if you look at what's going on right now with this flex coaching, with everybody presuming to have so much money and to have it mean, what you think they're gonna do with that money, y'all? Everybody broke right now, but everybody act like they got money, y'all. Everybody so everybody broke, but act like business owners and entrepreneurs, but everybody broke. I gave y'all the stats on another video of how people are so broke and why people uh in, in, in the reality of things, right? So we're just so engulfed in what it looks like and what it's and, and, and what somebody think of us. People that don't even care about us. Instead of focusing on the big, bigger picture, y'all. All right, but anyway, uh, that's enough for me ranting. Uh, I would just want to touch on a couple of things, y'all. Uh, maybe I get back uh, on some more topics later. I've been off. This video, like uh, dropping videos, because I've been busy, and uh, as you can see, I'm not really uh, feeling making long drawn out videos right now because I'm busy uh, on this road and these wild drivers out here, y'all. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna say this: I hope y'all stay motivated. I hope y'all stay blessed. I hope y'all stay focused out here. Keep a backup plan for the backup plan. Organize your circle. Keep your family uh, tight. Um. And just stay prayed up, y'all. It's a big world out here. Um, if you got extra funds, yeah, hit the road, travel a little bit with your family. Learn to do some things sometimes. You don't gotta be living in fear. Uh, but you do wanna be smart and be wise out here. Anyway, with that said, I am about to tear out of here, y'all.